Broadcast Ranger. I think so. Now that I've actually started recording, you can stop dis dis like decide a position on the casting couch already, Gar. But yeah, but, but it's made of leather. It's hard to get comfy on this comfy couch. Yeah, more like a me medium comfy couch rather than a big one. Yeah, it's more of a mediocre couch. Hey, fuck I you! I swear to God, Gar, if you're sitting on the right side when I finally am able to come over, I'll kill you. Wait, which right side? Ah. Like, like, I don't know, the right stage, side. Uh, stage right or my right? Or your life. <laughs> is this being recorded? Yep. Yes. Okay, this is recorded. Okay. Um, hi! <laughs> Welcome to Extra Extra, everybody. First thing in the news, Emily's back. It's she is. Hi. I'm not going to call that. Be... <laughs> I don't know if that's newsworthy, but I won't be here again next week because it's my mom's birthday next Friday. Oh, hey, I'm not going to be well, here Happy either. birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> But, All right. Sorry, go ahead. No, I wasn't going to say anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Extra Extra Cast Ranger, the show where we talk about news in the Tokusatsu verse from the last week. But do we, though? Yes. First news story. Look at these glorious high res photos that Toei released. Oh, my God. Why do they look <laughs> like they're carrying Wii wheels? <laughs> yeah. There are two photos there, so if you scroll up above the other one. <laughs> I feel like with this picture, we could use it for the extra thumbnail and just put the Cast Ranger logo in each one of those circles. <laughs> I kind of love that. I, I think that'd be an amazing thumbnail. We need to do that. All right, all right. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> but yeah, they still look got like, it. They look like the fucking wheels that you put your Wiimotes in on. When yeah, you play I was Mario thinking Kart. they look like Wii. They look like Wii wheels. I, yep. I, whenever I played Mario Kart Online, I'd see people using Wii Wheels. And I'm like, oh, look at me. I can use a Wii Wheel and win. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> look at me. I know how to drive. Big whoop. Also, good news. I found my copy of Mario Kart 8. I oh. lost it. Okay, cool. Oh, what happened yeah. to it? Uh, it was lost in a box, and then I finally found it after three years. <laughs> when you say your copy of Mario Kart 8, as in the Wii U or the Switch one? Switch one. Oh, then obviously we need a race. Uh, sure. <laughs> I will wreck your shit live on stream. I know you will. <laughs> I've, beaten, I've beaten you before, though. I have record of it, too. I know. It's been a while since we played, so maybe we'll... It's been a while! <laughs> since I played track Oiram! That's Mario Kart when you look at it on a mirror course. Also, oh. Pacific Rim the Black came out. Uh, cool. Oh, it's That's already? That's all we're ever going to talk about. Okay, next. Let's get to this story. <laughs> All right. I didn't know it was already out. Yeah. I'm waiting for Atlantic Rim. Wait, was that actually a thing? Yes, it was. Yeah, yes, it was. Along with Transmorphers, by Asylum. Hornet, yeah. and the Invaders. Okay. Trans Hornet was a Bumblebee ripoff, and so was Transmorphers. Um, and that's all the air time <laughs> I'll give it. Moving on. All right. Moving first, on. first on the actual news story. But, but speaking of crossover movies... Uh, Machine Sentai Kira Major via Ryu Soldier has been announced. Oh boy, more Ryu Soldier. That's what we wanted. So I guess they're just doing these versus movies in the summer now? Uh, or I mean, the schedule's been all fuckity-wuckity from, from hey, last year. Hey, you guys are already halfway through a new Sentai series. You remember those two past, two past two? teams? Here you go! Hey, Lane. Huh? That's what they originally did. <laughs> no, but the difference is we're starting Zenkaiger, and this is a crossover of the previous two. Yes, that's what they no, did. But the, but no, but the VS movies always came out in, like, January when, no, like, no, before no, the... No, the theatrical versions did. The original V cinemas came out months after the original shows have ended. Anyways, oh, I, well, I'm I, not talking about the V cinema. I'm talking about the Versus movie. No, the, the Versus started as V cinemas, and then in the oh. late 2000s, they became theatrical releases. All right, that's enough. Gotcha. Of, that's enough of a gray versus gold caster. So, oh, anyway, more. so apparently, in this film, Yodana is going to be a film producer. Yeah, with the uh, film producing margin. Oh no! Isn't she, isn't she dead? Oh, yeah, which, which means this movie happens before the finale. Oh. <laughs> and yeah, spoilers. <laughs> but, but this is, is a, this a spoiler show. Uh, but speaking of spoilers, uh, Koichi Sakamoto's directing this, 
So I guess he's finally out of the Ultraman warehouse. Yeah. Oh, good. Which means the action for this movie is going to be fucking awesome. Uh, I hope so, because the other half of the movie is Canalo falling in love with Yodana, and that's going to be super cringe. Oh, my God. I saw I that, and I just was that. like, fucking stop. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Stop! Stop get some, I get hate, some help. He's my least favorite sixth ranger ever. I hate him. Stop! Back! No, back off! Catch your own sandwich. Don't go! Don't go that far. No, I I I haven't liked Kanala since the first time he showed up. Or like get your own sandwich. Oh! <laughs> and the movie is yeah. also being written by Ayumi Shimo, who is, according to this news a uh, news story, is only credited for doing episode zero of Kira Major. So what are the odds? She gets to write the very first piece of Kira Major stuff and the yeah, last piece of Kira Major Talk stuff. Talk about bookending. Epilogue and the epilogue. Hey. Well, this isn't an epilogue. Yeah, the book the bookending joke would have probably made more sense if it was Saber. So the movie's going to be about them going through a quote-unquote variety of movie worlds produced by Yodana and the film's enemy, Jemenshi and Minosaur. Wait! Which- what? Wasn't this the Shinkenjin movie? I was just thinking that. Yeah, it was the Shinkenjin movie. <laughs> we got to see Takaru dressed up as a schoolgirl, and Ichi was very traumatized by it. A little bit. <laughs> Once the movie oh is goodness. complete and released, the Earth will become the same environment as Yodonheim. Okay. No, and they didn't just do this in the Shinkenjin. It was also the Tokyo Kyoruger movie? Something like no, that. No, they did. They did an episode of it in in Tokyo. Kyoruger also did it. Uh, a lot of early Sentai's also did the movie trope idea. It's it's a trope. It's a Sentai okay. trope. Okay. But yeah, um, and if you look up at the poster quickly, uh, you somewhat see the pairings. So of course the Reds are going to be together. Tommy, Tomo, and Melt are going to be together. Oh, that's unfortunate. Tommy has to hang out with Melt. Yeah, also oh, that is poor man. Some- Asuna's with Sayo, Toba with Senna, and uh, she she grew and Bamba are together. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, and I saw the trailer. Apparently, now Bamba is a fellow samurai actor alongside <laughs> Shigeru. That is God, kind God of beautiful, it. actually. Wow. I mean, now we can put his, his, his penchant for stabbing things to good use. Oh, and yay, Oto gets to hang out with Mabushina, as she should. <laughs> Good. Put the two <laughs> annoying characters in the corner. No. I mean, Oto wasn't that bad. Well, no, Mabushina is fine. What's wrong with Mabushina? Eh. <laughs> well, we'll get I'll get to it in the episode when we talk about her. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, so this movie will be coming out in theaters April 29th, but won't see a Blu-ray and DVD release until August 4th. Cool. So oh. we'll be watching it in September. <laughs> or December. At the earliest. <laughs> Like I said, we'll be halfway through fucking Zenkaiger when this happens, when this movie comes out. Yep. Think of, it, think of it as a light to look forward to through the darkness. Think of it. If Zenkaiger blows, we at least have this to fall back on. <laughs> That's what basically I'm saying. Maybe Bamba can redeem himself. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. What's the next in this story? Next. Also, rip freaking Q Ranger versus Zoo Ogre. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Next, we have uh, the reveal of the Kira Major Sentai gear, which is also being paired up with the release of a t-shirt. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tell me I have to buy shirts to get the Kira, Ma- the hey, Kira Major. Hey, oh. hey, man, that's a pretty cool shirt. <laughs> Sinkheiser's ballin', man. Yeah, I love but, his yeah, design. You, you it see me. You, you can turn it into a pillow or something. Oh, that's true. I could, or I could pin it up on the wall. You know. Yeah, you could put it in a frame. I mean, an extra extra large in Japan is like my size of shirt here. So. I'm not giving you the shirt. <laughs> oh, <fine>. oh God! <laughs> There's only a thousand of them. Wait, there's only a thousand? Yeah, the t-shirt is limited to a thousand quantity. It has Zenkaiser on it. Uh, comes with the Cure Major gear. Available in Japan's version of small, medium, large, and extra large. Premium Bandai Web Exclusive, 4400 yen, May release. Pre-orders end March 28th. So get it now or get it later on the third party market. <laughs> Buy me Bone Storm or go to hell. 
<laughs> but, but I just want the Kira Major Sentai gear. The gear. Well, then find someone who wants the shirt. Me. <laughs> and I'll have the shirt. You can have the, the thing. Yeah, go in on it with Lane. All right, fine, yeah. Lane. We'll go have these on. You get the shirt. I get the coin. You get half the okay. shirt, and I get the other half. And we'll the see how we'll see how much it is because shirts are fucking expensive in Japan. It's four thousand four hundred yen. Yeah, so like maybe fifty, sixty bucks. Okay, well, that's not bad for a shirt. I'm yeah. paying thirty dollars for a tiny little knickknack. But then again, what's what, welcome to Toku? But then again, what's what's changed? Yeah. You'd be lucky to get most gimmicks for 30 bucks. Oh, I tried to find the Red Machine Fire today, and I could not find it anywhere. You mean the, the red car one? Yeah, the red car one. So it's Machine Maka. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Machine Maka. Fire is the actual one. Yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, I found it on eBay, but it's like you have to... Limited items like that, you gotta snap it while it's fresh. I know. Or you won't find it. Tell that to our middleman who... Sometimes gets some, sometimes doesn't. You're a big man. You can do your own shopping online. I guess it could. <laughs> I just don't feel like... Because like the only way that I've seen it... But, but I like, don't wanna! Is people selling Cure Amazing. But I already have Cure Amazing. And they're selling it for like $300 and $400. I'm like, no! Yeah. Anyways, next news story. So it seems like the original Kamen Rider manga has now been licensed by Seven Seas Entertainment. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay. Cool. There will be a four manga volume put together in a special omnibus called the Kamen Rider The Classic Manga Collection. Uh, it is scheduled for release in December, and it is a modest $32.99 US before shipping and handling. But I, I could just buy the manga for comiXology. Well, there's that. Some people like to have the physical one. Oh, yeah. I guess it, I guess if you want a physical copy of it, then, yeah, this is the best way to go. Plus, it's the same people that are releasing go, the Go Ranger manga. Yeah. Now they've got Go Ranger and Ichigo. The nope. two original. With you! Now, where's Kikaider, damn it? <laughs> I didn't know there was a Go Ranger manga. Yeah, it, it was more or less these were considered tie-in stuff while the main show was going on. That way, people who watch them could go, eh, the book's better. Yeah. <laughs> like, all great. Kikaider Zero One sort of flopped, but the manga version of it was actually pretty good. Okay. All right. Next. So, last week and the week before, we talked about the Comrade Buster manga, and it's already been scanlated. Yeah. Damn. That fast? So, the folks over at Genbu Corp have released the first chapter of the Comrade Buster manga. So, we've already talked about what it's about. I just wanted to make sure everyone knew that it is readable. Awesome sauce. Scanlated means it's been scanned and translated. Scanlated. Mm -hmm. Wait, wouldn't it be scanlation? That's when you just that talk. That's depending on the tense you're talking about it in. <clears throat> it's. Would you prefer I said it's been scanlationed? Scanlated. Yes, very much so. Fuck, that sounds like a tongue twister. Scanlated, skin trace. Scan, scan, terminated. <laughs> scan to the next news. All story. right, you're pushing it there. <laughs> you know what? That's the name of the episode. Scan, scan, termination. Scan, terminated. What's up, scan nation? <laughs> scam nation. <laughs> it's it's your boy. What in scam nation? What we got the new manga <laughs> translated for you this week. What is this, Yo Sam? Lee Sam. <laughs> <laughs> next. We have official images for the upcoming Elemental Dragon Wonder Ride book. Ooh, it's pretty. <laughs> All right, so now I know how the fuck this works. When we talked about it in the magazine scan, I, what I assumed was the case was that the Elemental book, like, shot red light through some sort of port in the primitive book to turn the saber image red. But no, apparently the, the red saber image is just a little panel that rotates out when the book opens. <laughs> it's much more simpler than what I assumed. Still, the other way, the other way we thought sounded cool, <laughs> right? I mean, I, I didn't vocalize what I thought it was. I just thought I just mentioned that it did it. And I, I like you can also put the book in the belt by itself if you want. Yeah, and what's cool is this is sort of like King Lion Daisenki, where the book is able to open both ways, but not at the same time. Huh? Because like it's got a story page if you open it the normal way, and then. In the belt, when you put it with Primitive Dragon, 
it opens the other way, and that's where the actual image of the, the form is. Ew. And as expected, it's coming in a two-pack with Primitive Dragon, which is what I'll probably end up getting. But you can also buy it individually. Of course, for, ever, already... for everyone who already who like leapt on Primitive Dragon immediately. I have a feeling this is going to make Saber flop financially. I don't know. Because it's, it's not the first time they've done this. Exactly, though. But that's the problem. So, like, you're giving them too many options to, like, buy this. Too know. many options, too many options. Many well, options. Well, well, like, if you give them too many <laughs> options to wait, like, for ways to get it, there's going to be a lot left over. Yeah. I get it. I get it. You know, unlike Hasbro, who's making me have to buy two of the same Ranger figure twice just to get more accessories look at you red galaxy ranger yeah freaking doesn't come with a fully extended quasar saber <laughs> no, you yeah. got, no you got to buy the red ranger versus two pack just to get it <laughs> um yeah so the elemental dragon wonder ride book by itself is 3080 yen releasing march 27 if you get it as a two pack with primitive dragon, it's sixty one sixty n. If you don't buy it, it's zero dollars and zero cents. So that's a huge cost savings right there. Exactly. You could put that money towards other things like literally anything else, like actual books. <laughs> Act, buy actual books about dragons. Books about dragons, and put those how, in your sword driver. Uh, the the Blu Ray is of how to train your dragon. <laughs> Uh, oh, you can buy Star on Disney Plus where you can watch Dragon Ball Evolution. Buy three copies of Blue Eyes White <laughs> Dragon cards and then put those in your sword driver. <laughs> or I've, been, can... I've, been, I've been using Star actually on Disney Plus. It's great. I thought you were about to say I've been using cards in my sword driver. No, because I've been wanting, want, wanting to rewatch iRobot and then I found out iRobot was on Star and I was like, oh! <gasps> I will say I started watching on Star fucking Solar Opposites, the, oh. the Justin Roiland thing. Yeah, yeah I, I if can you watch think, that too. I... If you think anything Justin Roiland has ever done has been fueled by cocaine, Jesus Christ, this will make you question that. Oh. Because that show is paced disastrously fast. Uh, it just... Some of the jokes so are... They literally throw the entire concept at you with no setup in the first two minutes and you're just oh, forced to oh, accept it. Okay, Ichi, what's worse, this show or Saber Episode 6? I knew you were going to talk about that. At least, oh, Saber, no. at least that was a one-off. This is the whole show. <laughs> Plus, it's uncensored. Yeah. Saber okay. Episode 6 uncensored? No, 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 no Solar <laughs> Opposites is <laughs> Oh, the oh, I, I legitimately thought you meant that, and I was thinking, what did they censor? The swords are unblurred. <laughs> thanks to, <laughs> uh, to iRobot, thanks to real watching Rye Robot, I now have my favorite no response. My, I have my new favorite no gif, where it's just Sunny looking over, and he just goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what's the next news story? Oh, see, you, figure can, art. you No, you can spend money on this. SH Figure Arts Common Rider Orthros Vulcan. Okay, not gonna lie, I would buy this. Yeah, this is Vulcan's coolest form. And it it's sucks cool. because all he did was was act as a freaking defenseman with it. A defenseman? Yeah, yeah, you know, like a football, you're a defenseman. Well, he just, he wanted to try to fucking hit, smack some sense back into Aruto, and then Aruto was just like, yeah, no, fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, but like he didn't do any like cool attacks or anything. He was just like, Stop. yes, he did. He did a cool he, punch attack. He did. He did. Oh, did he? Yeah, he did. He did a punch attack. Yeah, he like yeah, split himself into like four wolves or something like yeah, that. Guys, you gotta remember, I binge watched zero one. In the he fucking, lost, but he still it, did it. Like, like <laughs> I binge watched zero one in a week. A lot of it that's the you blur. problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. It, it's, Anyways. The color scheme looks really good on it. I love it. Oh no, blue and blue and silver is such a good fucking combo. It, it also works. blue, black, and silver. No joke. No joke is my fucking aesthetic. Like I, maybe a different shade of blue, I would have liked better. But this hits the mark pretty well. I feel like this would have worked as his final form a bit more. This effectively is his final form because it truly resembles what his very first form looks like. No, it, it's a based on assault wolf. Well, yeah, I know. Like it's a retool of assault wolf, but like. This is... It feels like the natural evolution. Yeah, it feels like the natural evolution. Yes. It's like, it's like the Grease Blizzard of Zero One. Pretty much. Man, that seems like forever ago now. So, uh, the figure is 150 millimeters tall, comes with replaceable claws, a broken right claw, so you can reenact that fight, uh, and the shot riser in the belt can be removed for him to hold. 
but how can I recreate the fight if they didn't release SH Figure Arts Come Rare Zero Two yet? Maybe they will. Maybe they, they will. Better. They better. It would have been hilarious if it was just a teaser. No, instead it's just him with Naki. Yeah, it's him with Naki. Um, so Premium Bandai Web Exclusive, seventy-one fifty yen, August release. All right. It's All right. I'm sorry. Now I'm just thinking we're whalers on the moon because I was watching Futurama we earlier. Carry a what does that have to do with this? It's just, it's just stuck in my head. It's just I, I just <laughs> yeah. sing our happy tune. Cool. I think it's so, there, but there ain't no whales, so we sell t- tell tall tales and yeah, sing and no sing whales. our favorite tunes. Whaling, I I or knew it, whaling. but I didn't want to elongate this bit, which is already long overstated. It's welcome. So, sorry, sorry. Long overstated. <laughs> Cool. Next. <laughs> so this was silhouetted the week you weren't here, which is more and more. But now we have our f- first official images of the super mini pla of Gao King. <gasps> it's great. <gasps> it, also, honestly, I didn't. <laughs> I had trouble believing this was real. It looks like a CG model. I... So was the Zord. <laughs> you know, that's I a love... good point. I love you can recreate like. At all the Zords standing on like the Bull Zord opened up. Yeah, because that's what that's what the original toy was able to do. Uh, huh. Bice clusterfuck mode. But it's, it's like the equivalent of the the Daizujin's tank mode. But yeah, and the cool thing about it is that not only did they also confirm we're getting Super Shoto Gal Rangers, but they also confirm we're getting every power animal from Gal Ranger. Oh shit! Oh fuck! So we're getting Every super many plus of Gal Hunter, uh, Gal Icarus. Yeah, they said selling as single mechas rather than individual animals. Yeah. What's the? Um, there's a picture where they're showing like an older version of it. What's that one? That is the very original 2001 mini plus. <laughs> oh my god! What what a fucking difference! Wow! <laughs> wow! Oh, I yes. am ready for action. I want it. Oh yeah, it looks great. I'd want uh I'd want uh the Predazord. I love the Predazord. Yeah. I mean, sort of sucks that we skipped over Time Ranger, but okay. I I understand Time Ranger was <laughs> no, 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 no. God, do you know how expensive fucking Q Rex would be? Well not only that, but just like, you know, Time Ranger was considered a financial flop, so hey, let's go with the thing that made us more. I money. guess you could say they didn't have time for it. Time for Time Force? I'm not sorry. So, how much is this thing going for? Uh, let's see. Doesn't say. It does not say. Probably over a hundred dollars. They they did say that uh, orders will be going live March nineteenth. Perfect. That gives me a week to sell shit so I can buy this. Who wants to buy pops? Who wants to buy Funko Pops and comic books? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, buy some Funko Pops. Yeah. Ten, Funko Pops. Ten dollars a piece. Yeah. I love how Seven's like rip earphone users. Haha, <laughs> what you don't know is I have compressor filters built into my recording software. So your ears may not have been spared, Discord audience, but there's filters in place so, so that the finished episode will sound better. Okay. <gasps> ah! I right. still need to also buy an original Gal King. That way you can just stand next to each other. Yeah, it's just be like, yeah. hello, brother. Hello, my son. <laughs> All right, next. Uh, Anna Nagata, who played Misakin in Kabuto, <laughs> has given birth. Wait, Tendo's daughter or sister? No, the 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 lady who worked for Zekt. Oh, Misakin. It's been so long. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, she was the one that freaking Tsurugi liked, and then she pretended to be going out with Kagami, and Kagami was super confused. Yep. Kagami! La boo, la boo. That's right. Uh, so it says she's given a safe delivery and gave birth. They've, she's become a family of three. Wow. Des- despite the lack of sleep, every time I see my child's face, I am filled with love. Aww. <laughs> This is my first childbirth, she says. Gave birth six hours after taking labor-inducing medication. Does it say huh. boy or girl? 
It does not actually. Wait, family of oh, three. Oh, that's interesting. Uh oh. Wife, husband, daughter, or son. It's a, it's a worm. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's a worm. <laughs> that's, that was the name of the alien uh, race they fought in Kabuto. It was called the worm. Oh, okay. I forgot about that. <laughs> no, um, it's an earthworm. My worm. first thought. My thought was like um the scene from the director's cut version of The Fly where she gives birth to a giant like maggot. <laughs> And all I could think was, it's a worm. It's well, a I, I watched, gym. I watched. I finally watched Alien Resurrection today, and now I know. Now I know where the uh, the reference "kill me" came from. So okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. It was Ripley killing her fucking deformed clone. Yeah. yeah Next of course, news. Congrats to her and her family. Congratulations. Yeah. It made it sound behavior. like they actually had to clone her and kill her clones for the film. That happened to Ripley, but it didn't happen to Sigourney Weaver, thankfully. Thankfully, <laughs> that at least as far as I know, it didn't. <laughs> you know, she only became she only became an announcer voice for a fucking aquarium in Finding Dory. She was right. also the voice of the ship. In, no, wait, that was that. Um, was that her in uh, Wally? That no, she no, was, no, that wasn't her. Anyways, oh, was what's that on the next... plane? Hmm. Next. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This isn't related to anything. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Next. So, Rihito Itagaki's been kicking it up in the news a lot lately. Last week, he talk- we, we uh, found out that he's putting out a calendar, and now he's in a new series called My Androgynous Boyfriend. Uh, okay. Well, what does androgynous mean again? It's hard to tell if they're male or female. <laughs> Which is weirdly which was brand. which was what you were confused about with uh, with Wolgar <laughs> and see you know, you're like is that a boy or a girl I don't know. So it seems like the people he, who cast him for this, brand. yeah, right. This is people whoever cast him for this must have watched Zio. <laughs> who, who knows? He might honestly be non-binary in real life. I don't know. Well, it'd be day then. Yes. Um, so the series will star Ayoshikawa as Wako Machida and Rihito Itagaki as Meguru. In the series, Wako spends her days working in the world of publishing while her boyfriend Meguru spends his time obsessing over fashion and makeup with the goal of making himself beautiful just for her. Ah, uh, The series is premiering ap- on April Fool's Day. <laughs> Who's the real Is it? Oh, guys, it's not happening. It's an April Fool's check. Two you need to remember later. that they also announced the Powerpuff Girls anime on April Fools, and everyone thought that it was an April Fool, and it wasn't. And then it tra- ended up being awesome. And then, yeah, I was gonna say it ended up being possibly one of the best, if not the best, incarnation of them as and well. Now, and now they want to make a live action series where it's them older and them not hating they want that they fought crime. Please, yeah, no. it's not they want to. That is actually happening. God oh. no. <laughs> Where to CW? I will forget it exists for as much as I can. CW. The Roddy Rough Boys better be in it. <laughs> I love Orb. Coming up next on All My Zeo. On uh, Everybody <laughs> Hates Zeo. <laughs> what about Everybody Hates Raymond? <laughs> Are you guys okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I I'm actually good. feel better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Woo woo! Dojenja Season 2! You know, God, their backs must be killing them in those suits for bowing that low. It doesn't really seem to me like the best idea for an image to promote your Toku ser- Satsu series, a show and a genre predicated around how cool the suits look, with an image where they're all bending so you can't see the suits. Because they're introducing it. Blame the news story. They're the ones that wanted the full title. Dojenger's nice buddy. <laughs> nice buddy. Nice buddy. Nice buddy. That's the tight. Ty- Okay, for those that don't know what Dojengers is, Dojengers came out last year, which is comprised of local heroes becoming a team. Like, legit tokusatsu mascots from small little companies. Okay, based on just this image, I'm going to tell you what actual Toku heroes they look like going from left to right. All right. Excel, Zenkaiger, Brave, Normal Guy, Drive... (laughs) And scissors. Oh, uh, that's the fa- that's the face I'm making when I'm like, nice, buddy. <laughs> oh, just hey, Scotty, Jesus, man, Jesus, man. <laughs> but yeah, um, this show also confirms where the hell Seiji Takawa went. Oh, he's doing this. 
yeah, he's in this as a new character. Yeah, see right there, Seiji Kawa being a suit actor for one of the new heroes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, season two will premiere on April 11th. On KBC, KKB, Tokyo MX, and on April 17th, KAB. We we need to we need to talk about this on Cast Ranger sometime. Yeah, uh, Dogengers. It's, yeah, it's a yeah. Cool we should show. have like a, we should have like a Dogengers like fucking theme month like in December. Well, it's all Dogenuary. It, it's. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's only twelve episodes. Do, Dogember. So it'd be like three episodes a three episodes a week. You're the one managing the schedule. Make it happen. I guess I yeah. You you you're the one who wants to watch this super badly. Well, I have all of it. Well, then, no excuse. The, the only problem is, the people that subbed this never released a batch for it. So it's sort of like inner circles of like, hey, you got the stuff? Yeah, I got the stuff. Well, then, get your ass to the dark web. I wanna. <laughs> You've got, you're, you're the one managing the schedule. It's up to you how long it takes. I'll do it in this afternoon, which is... Uh, it's, it's almost 10 at night as we're recording this <laughs> all right next so this is interesting with the first episode of a series called power rangers bloodline of the grid and why oh, yeah. this is I... interesting is it stars the red and silver in space rangers actors christopher yeah, I... lee and justin nemo i, I is watched it, that is it canon or i don't think so no, it's a fan made thing, but they yeah. like you know actors usually go on get on board for it. I watched it; it was cool. But the thing that bugs me was, and I get it because it's probably like a budget thing. But like they were like about to morph, and then they it it doesn't happen because they get interrupted, and I'm like, fuck you. Yeah, that's like come on. We don't have the suits that. But but if it's a Power Rangers thing, you need to have the suits. They Blame. are about to morph, and it cuts to action figures on a table. I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even like that, honestly. Yeah, come that on, been, that would have been interesting. I'll get you, Andrew. Just, eh, 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 eh. Oh, don't worry, just I, I can't. Voice over by them. I can't wait to see the 100th Power Ranger fan film filmed in a freaking parking garage <laughs> or in a park. All right, here, here's the here's the pitch they've got here. Christopher Kamen Lee is back as Andros in Power Rangers Bloodline of the Grid. Set several years after the countdown to destruction, the once revered hero faces impossible odds oh, as he fights to restore the all powerful energy source known as the Grid. Oh. Is it the Morphing Grid? Probably. Watch the Are story they not of allowed? the. S- <laughs> Watch the story of the sequel to Power Rangers in Space unfold with old and new characters alike, including many returning legendary Rangers. Hail but to it's the just Red a Raiders. Fan fiction. It doesn't count. It, it just <sighs> stuff like this just confuses things. Why does oh? Why does every fan film have to be dark and gritty? Because Power Rangers isn't okay. But, but just just tell a mature story. Speaking you don't speaking have to of the dark. Speaking of the morphing, no, but dark makes things more interesting. Gar. Um. Speaking of the morphing grid, I watched the fucking morphing sequence for Dino Fury. The fact that they have to say a link to the morphing grid really annoys me. Same. Because it's that fucking it, it's, bugs me. It's too much to say. They exactly. Say so it's literally yeah. it's morphing time. Link to the morphing grid. Just And also Dino Fury key. Oh yeah, Dino Fury key. Which apparently they're not even selling Ryu Souls. Yeah, I like how they're using the Ryu Soul version in the show, but the toys are clearly not those. No, no, like they are not releasing American versions of the Ryu Souls. But we saw images of them. No, they're just the flat for... little sticker keys. Yeah, yeah, That's what yeah. you get. Yeah, That's but all you just, get. Just for the action figures, they're not releasing like Gravity One or like. Or oh, like you the mean far... the oh, you mean the weapon Ryu? Yeah, Souls. the weapon Ryu Souls. But that's the whole gimmick. No, no, we're not selling them. Fucking Christ! It's a show that about has... selling toys. Oh, no, 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 too much work. really weird. Well, I will say the morphing sequence itself is good. Yeah. I I'll... agree, but I also really miss the uh, marching soldiers, but I guess they don't fit. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, that was All actually right. really cool. Anyways, so, well, yeah. Watch, 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 so, 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 watch, 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 watch,
Yeah. There so, was no way they were going to carry that over, though. No. So yeah, I know, but... That's the next new story. Our last <laughs> new story is that now streaming on Toei Tokusatsu World, uh, Kamen Rider Blade. So that means everyone can now watch it legally of Tachibana. Why did you betray me? Yeah, now everyone can watch where the memes came from. Why did you say you can watch it? Now they me tell you Now they tell you to say Oh, no, cut it out, I figured it's... I actually, I actually started watching these because I'm like, it's been long enough. I can rewatch Blade. Nice and crisp quality. Yeah. Yeah. I, I still just wish they did better with the thumbnails. Yeah. Like, literally, that is a nice press photo of the first episode of Blade. Hey, let's smear it with freaking MS Paint. I can, do, I can do better thumbnails in, like, five minutes. I honestly would have just taken a shot from them in during the opening, where they're on the stage or whatever. Uh, yeah, it's a bit It's much. not actually in the episode. Uh. Anyways. So yeah, Commander Blade, now legally on the Toei Tokusatsu World YouTube channel. Absolutely recommend watching it. The show is excellent. All of you don't watch Card Captors Common Rider. Yeah, that's literally it's literally like <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Card Captor Pokemon. It was also meant to be the end of the Heisei Common Riders. <laughs> Each undead card has a power on its own. <laughs> <laughs> I always like. I know it's corny and silly, but I kind of love the English card captors themes. Oh, of course! It's so oh my god! I still remember all the words to it. <laughs> Someone needs to make a card captors version, but with Blade, I... and then you just have like like fire shooter. But... Common riders, common riders, common rider. adventure, common rider. Power of a all time. for all time. But I mean, if we're going to do something involving riders, shouldn't it be calling all spider riders? <laughs> all right, that show. Yeah, that show ended up being all right. I watched a bit um, of it. So, Gar was telling me earlier this week, apparently there's something they're doing involving Kamen Rider, Sh uh, Shin Kamen Rider? Uh, oh, yeah, that didn't come into my news feed. Yeah, something trademark-wise. It said Shin Kamen Rider, but it's probably something related to the 50th anniversary everyone's thinking have... it's gonna be a dark reboot thing even though common writer shin's already a thing yeah no i was, yeah, like, no, I, was I was gonna say already? they'd be cool if they did like a reboot of like shin common writer as like an amazon's kind of show i think that'd be fucking dope or common writer shins or if anything just make a sequel to shin yeah because mm. was, wasn't the original shin movie called like prologue or some shit yeah shin common writer colon Prologue. There, not, then we finally get chapter one, like, how many years later? 20 years later. His son, that, his son that was supposed to be born, now fully grown adult, who can also oh, the, transform. The, 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 the space baby? Yeah, the space baby. <laughs> space baby. The space baby. I don't even know what you guys are talking about, but oh, I can imagine. Uh, oh, pre oh, oh my god. Uh, Emily, you, as you being a huge th fan of the thing, you would love Shin Kamen Rider. It's like very like practical, violent, gory. Like the transformation sequence alone is so and, cool. And the coolest thing about it is that it's actually legally available on the Toei Tokusatsu World channel. <gasps> Everyone oh, go watch it. So you, the official release. So you can actually watch the movie Kamen Rider Shin. I love hey. Seven in our chat. Kamen Rider Shin 2, the shinning. Yeah, he fucking... Secret the shin. You're it, you're dude! He rips the fucking guy's head off. It's awesome. Oh, Whoa! Brutality, um, I don't know man. if that's awesome, but... There's the link. <laughs> Thank you, Decker. There's the link. I don't actually like things that are bloody, gory, and violent. I just like the thing. The thing? <laughs> the thing! The thing from another world. Yes, that thing. I remember Cell was like, was like, oh, I should show Ichi the thing. I think he'd like it. I just turned to him and immediately went, no. <laughs> here's here's the interesting thing. No, wait, that I should have said part or something. Here's the thing. The yes, the, the interesting. My the interesting... mom actually likes the thing, even though she doesn't like violent or gory movies, because she appreciates how good a movie it is. <laughs> so is maybe there... Ichi would like the thing. It's very interesting. Oh goodness! <laughs> no, so so someone took apart the Gearlinger and found a the secret... Gearlinger. Yeah, the Zen... yeah the Zenkaiser Gear. It's the Gear Tillinger. Sorry, the Gear Tillinger. I love the Gearlinger though. <laughs> and it sounds a... like something like Doctor Doofenshmirtz would make up. Of... I have the Gear Tillinger. And well, later. Apparently, there's a mystery sound in between 2012 to 2013. Uh huh. 
what came out in between 2012 and 2013. Oh, Akiba Ranger. Yep. Oh, There's going to hey. be an Akiba Ranger gear. If they, if they make awesome. an Akiba Ranger gear, that would be the greatest. That would be amazing. This is that would be like the Telebicoon show. special. This yeah. is the spoiler show, right? Yeah. yeah. So should I insert a pre-cure leak? Sure. Or sure. does that not matter? Sure. No, go ahead. Give oh, us, okay. Give, um, us the, give us the sneak pre Yes, they are. <laughs> they <laughs> already they before the show even aired. Even though now the first episode did air, but before the show even aired, they found the Tropical Rouge toys and hacked them. And we now know the fifth cure's name already. It is Cure La Mer. Cool. But it's spelled out, so it really looks like her name is Cure Lamer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is really unfortunate. And I Yeah, it looks like it's, it doesn't have like a capitalization or anything, so it's just cure L A M E R. As like one word? And, or separated? Yeah, as one word. Oh, cure lemur. <laughs> yeah, it's it means the, the ocean in French. I feel like oh, the, oh yeah. like, la, la, and, la mer. Yeah, like and this, it's. This, I feel like this is Emily just being like. I feel like this is Emily just being like. I, I got a. I got a precure thing. Wink. <laughs> Wonk. Yeah, but isn't that supposed to suggest that I don't have a precure thing and that it's like a lie? But I do have a precure. <laughs> I thing. was the one who leaked the fifth precure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. It was um Bandai who leaked the fifth precure by putting it in the toys. Ooh. Um, and it's almost certainly Laura the Mermaid because Lemare is part of her name. <laughs> Laura the Mermaid. Yeah, I know the mermaids. In, in a in a great instance of like weird random Western name, the mermaid is named Laura. Hi, I'm Laura. I used to think being a mermaid was pretty great, but now I'm a precure. Why is it Roz? Oh, hell, Frank's left. <laughs> Yeah, why is it Roz? What? It's a Game Grumps joke. Game Grumps. Joke. Oh, really okay. Look up Game Grumps Laura and you'll know. There's also Why does another... Laura sound like Roz from Monsters Inc? <laughs> I don't know, but Like speaking... exactly. I got a job working at Fart Modeling Agency. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Uh, Always I... watching. Okay, I think. But I not think as a model, sure. as a receptionist. <laughs> wow, wow, There's your extra. <laughs> there's your extra bit for extra, extra cast ranger. So are we extra, extra, extra cast ranger now? No, you're extra, 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 oh, extra, great. extra. Great, I've gone cross eyed. Extra, extra, extra. The, the extra name? <gasps> extra, 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 extra. Extra. Okay, the bit's dead! Extra. Extra! It's cast extra. Ranger. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, well, thank you everyone for listening, watching, liking, favoriting, sharing, subscribing, hitting the bell. We will see you next week and on the podcast proper. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. And also, bad bye. Dare I said it. <laughs>